I'm Sharon Carpenter with a BET News Brief. Here in LA, everyone is gearing up for the biggest show of the year, the BET Awards 06. Russell Simmons wants you to buy bling, but his pro diamond stance has landed him in the hot seat. The Simmons Jewelry Company co-owner recently traveled to Africa and says ICE is empowering its people. The holiday season is fast approaching, a time to be close to family and friends. But once again, for many black soldiers, their Christmas will be spent miles away from their loved ones in the war-torn nation of Iraq. Lil' Kim speaks exclusively to BET News just minutes after she was released from federal prison this morning. So, say hello to BET News. Hey, say, say, say. How are you feeling right now, Kim? I feel great, guys. Good. BET is taking over LA while 106 and Park is holding it down at Universal Studios. We've got your all-access pass here at the Shrine Auditorium as we prepare for the BT Awards 06. As you can see, there's lots of action going on behind me. Rehearsals are in full swing, and earlier today we caught up with show host Damon Waynes to find out what he has in store for us on the big night. I just shot some stuff in, in a skirt. Hopefully it'll be funny, if not. <laughs> Somebody got me on tape in a skirt. Make sure you catch the BT Awards 06 live from LA Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Go, 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 we did have a lot of fun with Tom. Well, there's a lot more fun, a lot more excitement, and an unlimited amount of thought-provoking programming waiting for you here. All you have to do is tune in. When it comes to working, you might be shocked to hear the average American spends 1,900 hours a year on the job. The firm often gets calls from clients requesting large sums of money for some new extravagance. Take this Rolls-Royce Phantom, for example. It's a must for many rap stars. Bike manufacturers are investing time and money on a safer bet. Accessories and apparel just for women. Requesting a table or bottle service will get you straight through the velvet rope at most clubs. Here at Lotus, you can choose anything from a bottle of vodka at $275 to a magnum of champagne at $1,200. Now, with a two bottle minimum plus tip, that could all add up to one very expensive night. You just recently uh, launched a new prepaid debit card. That's right. As such a successful artist, what made you decide to take on this kind of venture? There's so many things to get into, you know, and I, I wanted to be unique. Ten years ago, the Million Man March, where did, where did hip hop stand? The pop uh, was, a, was a big part of it. I mean, they were, it was a big part because it was a powerful vehicle of expression. How have you seen yourself evolve over the 20 years? Well, I think all you have to do is look at the first film she's gonna have it and look at she's gonna have it first and look at inside man that's that's the answer right there how would you describe the difference i would just say growth tell us the most appealing thing about this movie for me the most appealing thing was initially was yeah going to work with robert i haven't seen you in a while what's been going it. on I know it. everything's been good just here hanging out on the biggest cruise ship in the world Can I a couple of questions about your love life as well. There have been a lot of rumors, you know, people have been talking about you and Hoops getting together. Is there any truth in that? I mean, that's a friend of mine. It's definitely not as serious as people have led on to it, led on for it to be. <laughs> Anything else? Nah, you pretty much covered it all. <laughs> <laughs> and more, right? Yeah, I appreciate it. As this convoy of 57 National Guard vehicles headed towards a devastated New Orleans, Banner made his way into the heart of Mississippi's darkness. This is just showing you the power of the hurricane. I mean, this is a barge that comes from that casino, from the Grand Casino. You can look right here on the door. The water level had to be at least seven feet high because you can see where the grass and the debris stops. You know, imagine if it did this to a car, what it did to a person. You know, people here need help. This is London, England. But there's another side you don't get to see on TV. Us coming up over here is just like them coming up over there. Yo, Inga and Cree, that's what I'm saying. Grimy, grimy music, man. It's got, got her music. If you say um, click, click, bang all, all the time, then someone who does click, click, bang is going to come to your show. 
Some of Britain's youth seem to have taken an intentional journey into the dark side to outdo the American rappers they've grown up idolizing. I'm not putting down Americans here, but you see to shoot someone, that's very, very, very easy. You see over here, we will bust your face off. Welcome to Houston, the fourth largest city in the U.S., filthy rich from energy and aeronautics, is where many of the white and wealthy reside. But there's a seamy side to Houston, an underbelly stained by everything from Enron greed to persistent poverty, unrelenting beef, drug use. Man, ain't nobody died from that and the death of a legend. DJ Screw, whose pioneering sound, screwed and chopped, now defines H-Town. A few words from the producer of Houston Screws the World, BT Sharon Carpenter. Sharon, the piece was hot. Now, you spent a lot of time in Houston. Was there any one thing that stood out to you more than everything else? I'd have to say the Source magazine cover shoot, where you saw all the major players in Houston hip-hop come together for the good of the city, and that's not something you see very often. But sadly, we actually lost one of those rappers a few days ago, Hawk, who is a member of the Screwed Up clique. You saw him throughout the piece. He was actually shot to death multiple times. It was very sad. And this is a man that's very well-respected in Houston, very much loved. So the city is really in shock right now. That one of the main reasons for Tyler's success is that he's managed to capture the black church-going audience over the years. If you look at his plays, you can see why. They're all about religious values, family values. That's been really profitable for him over the years. Yeah, millions and millions of dollars type of profitable. So apparently, exactly. people have spoken. They have.